All right, what's up, y'all? It's Miss Marcy here. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to talk about the Basketball Wise Reunion Season 4. All right, so first of all, I'm going to be honest with you. You really didn't miss out on much if you missed it. I mean, it was pretty light. It was kind of dull, and I'm going to say that because, well, I guess because there wasn't no drama, but at the same time, you got to understand it wasn't no drama because of all the, you know, all the backlash they've been getting for all the drama that's been going on. You know in the past few weeks so it, it was to be understood that there wasn't gonna be much drama because you know they're trying to tone it down and Shawnee trying to save face you know so it is what it is so the host was John Sally which I think they could have did it chose a better host hell they could have chose Miss Marcy as far as I'm concerned but you know for whatever reason they chose John Sally there was some parts where he to me you know he kind of said stupid stuff and at times I noticed he was trying to put his own opinion in about things and a slick kind of roundabout way but you know he he was doing what he had to do so anyway so the show starts out they got all the girls in the room except for jennifer jennifer's in the back um they said for i guess for certain reasons she was in the back and um you know what i noticed they try to cast jennifer out because she got that lawsuit going on against naya it's like you know I can tell too that I don't know if y'all peeped this, but I peeped it like in the um, last few episodes that it seemed like every time something went down with Sha with um, Evelyn and um, Tammy and Jennifer, Shawnee kind of jumped in and was like kind of always being on their side. You know, I noticed that. But anyway, I, and I think it's because of that uh, lawsuit she got going on because you know that affected Shawnee and that affected the whole VH1 crew as a staff. So, but um, excuse me. But anyway, moving on. So, I, like I said, he had everybody. Everybody was in the one room or whatever. And Jennifer was in the back, you know. And he started with Evelyn asking her about her friendship with Jennifer a little bit. Then he kind of talked to her about um, the whole Kenya situation with her throwing the bottles and stuff. And um, Evelyn teared up a little bit. She said she was riding with her um, stepdaughters or whatever. And that they thought it was funny. But she said she realized there wasn't nothing funny about it. And she felt really bad about it. And so, you know, so he actually, then he moved on to Kenya, and he actually asked her, did she think her singing, you know, did she think she was too old to be trying to sing or whatever it is she do, dance, whatever, and she was like, no, you know, I think, you know, you should probably a dream no matter how old you are, and I'm like, why the hell he asked her that, like, that's not, that's not, that's not cool to ask somebody that. I mean, obviously the girl don't feel like she's too young, too old to do what she want to do. You know, who the hell are you to ask her that, John Sally? Shit. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, what else? So then, Keisha could have stayed at home for all I care because really, there's nothing to talk about with Keisha other than the whole Tammy situation. I think that's why they had her there to talk about the whole Tammy situation. And, um... Shawnee made this big old statement about, you know, we're going to do better. We're going to, you know, let y'all see us more in a positive light. She did like a 15 minute, well, it seemed like a 15 minute little spiel. So, you know, hopefully y'all do better, Shawnee. We're going to hold you to that. But anyway, so, um, like I said, they did, they went to, he went to Evelyn, Kenya, Keisha, which y'all, I wrote some notes down, which I really didn't need to take no notes because, like I said, it really wasn't nothing to, you know, really wasn't a whole lot. Um, so finally you know he gets to jennifer and he asked well he asked evelyn what made her pop off at them you know pop off like she did when Ev when uh, jennifer and naya got into it and um you know she basically said that she just felt some kind of way about jennifer saying that naya don't have nothing or whatever so they finally brought jennifer out and um evelyn before um jennifer came out evelyn told the world that you know jennifer wants the world to think naya is just her assistant but really the truth of the matter is um jennifer and naya were really good friends as well so you know when jennifer finally came out oh and also evelyn tried to say that um jennifer lived with naya at one point so jennifer came out and i said it when she was in the back like they had a little monitor you could see her or whatever and she was back there like i think it's some bs that i can't go out there and say what i need to say so they finally let her out she comes out she cleared the air she said basically she did not live with naya she did stay with naya a few times or whatever when she was going through the whole divorce with eric and she, like she told evelyn hell yeah my mouth got reckless this girl just smacked me in the face what do you you know what you think so you know it was one of them things again where it seemed like when she came out it was all about let's gang up on jennifer the main people that was talking was evelyn tammy and shawnee and jennifer that was it that was the whole that was what the the first reunion was about just them four or whatever so um what else what else what else 
Um, I didn't like it when Jennifer came out and, you know, uh, Eve the e Evelyn had this look on her face. She going to do like this. Woosa, like, like, woosa. Like, she had to get herself together. Like, she had to keep herself calm. Evelyn, bitch, please. You know, it's not that serious. Jennifer ain't really ain't stunting you. But, you know, like I told y'all in my last, um, video that Evelyn actually misses Jennifer. So, whatever, whatever, Evelyn. So, anyway, um... Jennifer came out and cleared the air. And, you know, she pretty much told them, like, you know, I felt like y'all wasn't with nobody there for me when I was going through my divorce. And I like how she told them she's not apologizing for moving on with her life. In which I don't think she should have to apologize to anybody. Whenever you're moving on, you're doing better. You don't apologize to nobody. Can't nobody be mad at you. So, sorry if you felt some kind of way, but it is what it is. And so, basically, they went back and forth. Jennifer was saying that she felt like they weren't there for her. Uh, Evelyn was saying that she felt like, you know, Jennifer uh, was basically on some brand new stuff. She said that when she tried to contact, she tried to reach out to Jennifer. And Jennifer said that she was busy. So by the time Jennifer finally called her back, Evelyn said she didn't want to talk about whatever it was at the time. So she didn't want to talk about it no more. Jennifer told her basically like, look, you know, you kind of jumped the gun as far as, you know, just uh, accusing me of, excuse me, whatever. Because we ain't talked in a few days or a few months or whatever. It was just it was just kind of silly, whatever. Then Tammy jumps in. How Tammy got to jump in? Tammy jumps in, like you know, uh, told Jennifer she wanted her to stay consistent about what she's saying because it seemed like when it comes to the bullying and stuff or whatever, when she was on the when she was real in cahoots with Evelyn and hanging tough with her, you know, they was kind of bullying other people together. But now this sister seemed like the shoe was on her foot. Now she's trying to go file lawsuits and stuff. And which Tammy, let me tell you something. You can say that, but you're not consistent. You're being yourself because even the stuff you said about Keisha when you and Keisha got into it, you you know, like when you were saying, oh, you know, Keisha, um, need to understand that. You know, people gonna say what they wanna say. Tell me, you know, swallow your own advice, boo. Because you need to, you need to, um, you need to understand people. You know, people gonna say what they wanna say as well. And you can't go around smacking people every time you think they're lying. Cause how about you just lying about the interview with sister to sister? <laughs> Come on now, what's really going on? So, anyway. So, you know, that was that. So, Tammy jumps in and say, speak her piece or whatever. And then, you know, Shawnee jumps in. Like, you know, and Jennifer, like, when I said, like I said, Jennifer said that um, she wanted to apologize for moving on. And, you know, Shawnee comes in like, and Jennifer, we don't want, you know, we want everyone to grow from this opportunity. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Shawnee, because you really just want the ratings to. You're going to front like you want everybody to get along. But no, the hell you don't. Because, you know, if everybody getting along and it's all peaches and cream, that's going to make for a boring show. And nobody's going to watch it anymore. Whatever. So, that was pretty much it, y'all. That was pretty much it. Uh, it was really all about Jennifer and Evelyn once again. So, we'll see what part two has to bring. And I hope somebody get on that damn uh, Susie in her mouth. If, if, if John Sally don't go there with her, I'm, I'm going to write VH1. Like, y'all need to have me on there. Because let me get in, let me get in Susie's grill about that mouth. But yeah, let me just punch her in it. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, but that was pretty much it, y'all. Um, I thought I said I was going to um, review Single Ladies, but I'm not going to re review that because it's scripted. It's a cute, I mean, I like the show. It's cute or whatever, but I'm not going to um, I'm not gonna review it. And I don't know if I can get past old girl's voice that, that um, replaced Stacey Dash. She has the most annoying freaking voice. But anyway, um, look for my part two reunion review on the um, Basketball Wives or whatever. And um, until next time, this has been Miss Marcy. I'm about to get off here and watch my DVR of Scandal. If y'all haven't been watching that show, please do check it out with Carrie Washington. That show is the bomb. Until next time, this has been Miss Marcy. Peace.